What is up guys? Welcome back to the Top Maz Patreon server today. I'm just charging up my sword, just repairing it on the beacon. It's what you do, right? The 1.9 update, charging your sword on a beacon. That's a thing now, right? Yeah, let's get into it. Yes guys, welcome back. It's been a few days. Uh, the only reason it's been a few days since the last episode is there's been a lot of itty gritty little bitty, thick, whatever you call it, little chore things that I've been doing around the server. And I'll show you that for the first part of the episode. We'll talk about ep like last episode and a couple of other things I want to talk about. But yes, um, I was up there because I was going to do that. No, I was going to do that. And I was going to go F5 and I was going to look up. And you were going to see the whole Guardian farm. But we're down here now. But yeah, from the top here, <laughs> if we can get back up, <laughs> this view is so weird. <laughs> You'll see that I've got all the platforms done, all 20 platforms. Let's go back into that view and we will go back to 90. Cool. So yes, I have got all the platforms in for the village uh, houses, things. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was done. Um... What else am I going to talk about on the way back to the farm? Um, so, how do you guys enjoy episode 50? Was it good? I've read all your comments, and the comments so far, you guys are loving it. And I'm really appreciative of that, because I put a lot of time into that. And it's really cool to looking back and seeing what we've done over the past 50 episodes, and what we're going to be doing for the next 50. <laughs> so I thought, while that was uploading and for a couple days, I would just clean up around the... The Guardian farm and around the Mushroom Island and seeing like what we have to do and what we have to clean up to start new projects. So past few days I've just been digging. The end is coming along as well. I've dug out another portion of the end that's coming along. We've got two halves of it done. We just need to do the back half which is huge and the side which yeah that's going to take another few weeks. But yes we're back at the Mushroom Island. I didn't continue this. Uh, one thing I want to do is what was I going to do? Villagers are going to go over to the Guardian farm, so we might have a villager loader over there, because that's where the breeder is. But anyway, first thing I want to show you at the Mushroom Island that has changed. Where did my pills go? There they are. Uh, I hooked up the the thingy farm, this farm. Oh, perfect timing. It just went off. So I've got a hopper timer in here. I just made a really ghetto hopper timer, and I just chucked five stacks of blocks in there, so every... 64 times 5, whatever it is, 320 ticks, this thing will fire, and these water elevators in here, they no longer go to here, they actually go, oh, no, I didn't make an entrance down here, um, let's see if I can dig into it, I think I can dig in here, where is it, down here, can I dig this way, yes I can, perfect, uh, oh no, I can dig in that way, I, <laughs> ghetto, <laughs> okay, so we can dig in this way, so what I made is I made a little item elevator farm. So all four, all four um, towers there. There are two melon, two pumpkins. So this is the wait. I named them. Just this is a melon. This is pumpkin. So they flow. The pumpkin flows into this item elevator, and it's not. It's just a. It's just a path. And this one will flow into that one. And since they're opposite sides, I had to like flick it over so one comes over and the other comes under. And we'll just run down this path real quick and I'll show you the storage room. It all comes into the storage room. And I said I wasn't going to do it because we're just going to have to filter it back to the storage room or back to the villager trading center. But we come down here and it comes into some hoppers and it comes behind the chest. So we'll dig through here. Boop. Boop. And we will replace that. That goes there. That goes there. And we're in the storage room. And I spent some time gathering every single block in the game <laughs> and putting it here. So we'll come around real fast. Actually, we'll check this. <laughs> Where we came from? Pumpkins. Oh, I've already got three stacks. That's amazing. And wow, that's going to fill up really fast. Maybe I should allocate more chests. Anyway, so uh, we've got three chests dedicated to uh, brewing supplies. So anything like spider eyes, gunpowder, uh, bottles we'll go in here we got one for every type of clay even though we'll never fill it up we got one for wood for logs and then for any type of wood so like fences uh 
sticks and stuff will go into the crafting table one which is just like miscellaneous we've got yeah so we've got the log type we've got the wood type we come along here i've allocated four for stone three for cobble two for andesite two for granite two for diorite one gravel dirt sand and you can just have a look at what i've put down all the prismarines here as well all the fanny <laughs> not fanny, fancy blocks <laughs> i was gonna say fun but i said fancy and that made fanny it's not a bad word don't worry <laughs> So yeah, I've got red sandstone, I've got some nether stuff, uh, just random miscellaneous blocks. <laughs> and then we got the wolves. I don't know why I put the wolves here, because our sheep farm's back at the other base. But we ran out of blocks to use. <laughs> so we've still got all the supply over here. I thought I might do a stream. This is just like um, a side thought. I might do a stream and we might go raid some more uh, ocean monuments around the server and get more sponge. Because at the moment we've only got 100 sponges. I say only, but I want like 500 sponges just so we can do bigger projects. Uh, we've got the redstone chests for all the redstone supplies like repeaters, pistons. Look. Boop. Boop. That's a cool little addition. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I was saying last episode. We have the, the allocated block. So I come down to my storage room. I say, I need purple wool. So we come along and bam, grab some purple wool and we go. And it's that easy. So yeah, that is the storage room all or allocated and this could be for future 1.9 blocks if we need any or just a little I don't know what we need it for random stuff like arrows and items and armor and stuff like that we'll all be around there at the back because this is behind the stairs so we don't really need to look at it huh <sighs> okay almost done <laughs> it's almost updated you guys and everything there's one more thing we have to show you um, yes it's outside I dug out because I like this shore, right? I like this shore, and you can't see anything different right now. But we'll come over here. I'm in the water, aren't I? Yes, look, I dug out the last bit of the Mushroom Island and a little bit of the Mesa over here. And now it's all flat. So we just are on an island now. So we can maybe pull like some sort of boat or some sort of platform out here. I was thinking of doing, like, that's the central house, right? We've got the iron farm over there, we've got the villager library, we've got the cow farm over there, which is not really a cow farm, it's just a field. So now we have this whole area for certain types of tower farms or stackable farms. Ah, okay. I think that's all I had to explain, but yes. Ah, oh, okay. I think we're good. Just, I'm just thinking right now, my mind's gone blank. But what we're working on today, guys, is a rail system around the island because we need to get around better. Even though it's a small island, I want like a sort of a subway. Not... Come on, Rain. Seriously, I want sort of a subway, not the food, but the rail line, underground, and it will drop you off in certain points. Hey. And yeah, so I was thinking of getting that started today. But I don't know where to put the station. And I've been looking at this mountain. Right here. That mountain there. It hasn't got anything on it. We haven't done anything with it. And it's just sitting there. And I want to put something on it. But I don't want to put something on it. Because then we have no more spaces on the island to put anything. Oh. So this is why there's almost been a bit of a gap in the episodes this week as well. Because I'm just sitting here. And I want to do like 10 plus things with this island and I only have limited space and I it was hard to pick which one to do so this is why I'm recording today this is why we're getting a video out for you guys I want to show you guys the progress and I want to try and get something out because if I just sit here and I'm like should I start this project or that project or do that one or continue with that one I'm not recording that anymore by the way <laughs> I will show you guys updates on the build for, but I'm not recording this because it's gonna be like hey I built more on the iron farm Cool, cool episode. But yes, uh, it's getting dark, so I'm going to go sleep. Uh, we're going to set up the rail station, and I will bring you guys back. So you can have a rest now. I'm going to stop talking, and we're going to actually start doing something this episode. Sound good? Cool. Okay, guys, welcome back. It's been many days. Uh, the, the rail station didn't go as planned. Uh, the internet at my place has been on and off so it hasn't been that reliable 
But when I start recording, it goes smooth. How annoying. <laughs> but yes, guys, um, we're scrapping the rail station for now. Uh, you might see there's been a lot of rails placed around this island. I'm just coming back from the Guardian farm because I want to check something real fast. Uh oh, this, no, it's going to send me back. Get it, get it, get it. Thank you. Okay, so I need to check something real fast, and then we will go and see what I've been up to for the past few days. Why can I not hear the weather? That's weird. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see you. <laughs> yes, it works. Oh, my, my thing works. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Okay, um, let's ride back to the Guardian Farm, and I'll show you what I have been up to. Uh, I've finally finished it. If you have been following the episodes for a while, you'll know that we've got the storage area on the left side of the Guardian Farm, but the right side of the interior is still empty. Well, it was empty. Now it's not empty. It's, we've got a little rail station at the Guardian Farm. Um, let's go over here first, and I'll show you what I did over here. Uh, I dug out a hole, and then I just blanked. I didn't know what to do. Also, I connected this... this I connected this rail up. So when villagers come out of that system there, they go straight over there and they turn right and they end up at the Guardian Farm. Wow. Options. Bam. Off. Can I change that to minimal? Animations? Part of, yeah. Weird. Okay. So yeah. We'll go over here. Last enderpearl. And you'll see I did a bit of work. I dug out this whole platform and I put this down. And I was thinking of doing a big rail station. I'm going to make it out of sandstone with a prismarine roof. Because I reckon that color combo is really, really good. But, I don't know. I stared at this for a while. And I just thought, I'm not really into it today. So, uh, that project is on the back end. Uh, a project we started today. And we haven't even started it. And it's already on the back end. That's dedication right there. But yeah, uh, let us get on the rail line. Uh, which one's incoming? I, I labeled them over there. Let's go over this way. Oh, ow. I think this is incoming. So we'll go on this track here. We'll ride down to the Guardian Farm and I'll show you the progress we've done. So yeah, there are rails all the way over to the Iron uh, Farm. The rails to my house, we've got an incoming and outgoing on each side. So that one is incoming, this one is going. So uh, no minecarts will ever clash. Well, they might. They might in a sec when we come over here. So yeah, you'll see what I've been up to in a second. What else have I changed over here? Yeah, you can see the lag I've got right now. It's been so bad the past few days. And what, we haven't had a video for like a week. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can get this up to you guys tomorrow. Because, <laughs> I don't know, it, just, it, it feels nice just working on things and not having to record them. But I feel bad for you guys not seeing what I'm up to. So, here we go. We're in. We're in the Guardian Farm. And why can I not hear the rails anymore? Okay, so anyway, we'll come over here. I won't show you yet. Okay, so you come into the Guardian Farm, right? And now there is a sky rail coming into the right side. Because that side was blank, we've got the storage system over there. So we come in, and I was thinking of doing, like, different rails. I had them, I had a support beam up there, and it just looked too out of the way. And I had some rails coming over this, uh, this middle bit here but then it was blocking the entrance. So I decided to go with a half slab design. It's very minimalistic and it's out of the way. Uh, if we ever get prismarine slabs, I will replace them with that. But yeah, we've got some redstone blocks just to power the rail. We've got some lights underneath it and just little sticks to make it look like it's sort of floating. I don't know. We have a bed over here. We don't have a bed. We might have a bed inside. But yeah, uh, let us go and show you what I've been up to. So, this episode's really talky and showy. I haven't really done much at all, but it's... I don't know. I've just been doing a lot of camera, and I just wanted to show you guys. So, yeah. Okay. This used to be... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> Can I have the black wool back, please? Oh, God. Bear back. Okay. I think we're back. <laughs> Come on, internet. Please keep up. Oh uh, yeah, so this had a little bit of yellow tape on it, as well as up here. That had a bit of yellow tape, because I just didn't have anything on that side of the place. Uh, so now we have... This is the exact same as the other side, it's the item elevator. I think it's off, so we can't really see items. I'll go turn it on, for the time that we're showing you this. And this is for new for people that haven't seen the Guardian Farm as well. Also, 
also we finally named this thing well i named it i checked back at the guardian farm is that on i don't know if it's on or not no it's not on okay i checked back in the episode of the name the guardian farm because that was what the start of the year it's almost been four months since we named it and we haven't named it yet but yes uh i named it i think it's pretty uh funny i guess people were suggesting all the names but it sounded too similar to exuma's guardfall or guardian fall like there's guardians of the galaxy there was uh everfall there was just na really good names like that and i was thinking why not oh why name it a name that's similar to a guardian why not name it to what they produce so so here we go the name of the guardian farm is prisma inc get it because it's it's you get prismarine and it's prisma incorporated so it's prisma inc it's like a play on words i reckon i reckon that was pretty pretty snazzy i thought i was i was quite chuffed with myself for coming up with that on the spot so yeah the name of this guardian farm is now prisma inc and ink for like squid ink for dark prismarine ah oh, so cool <laughs> so yeah this is my office upstairs in the guardian farm and now we have this wait oh over here <laughs> no this way i get lost uh if you haven't seen this window we have a window looking out into the entrance uh down here okay i'll finally show you what i've been working on okay <laughs> so this room was blank and i made it a shipping and receiving area and I reckon it turned out pretty good for what I what I had to work with. Uh, what this is, is you can put down lots of chest minecarts. Oh, I didn't bring coal. Oh, there's black wool. No, I thought that was coal. Okay, um, I think we might have some coal over in the dump chest. Please have some coal in the dump chest. We need to power these things. Squid ink. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes, I knew we had coal. Okay. I don't know why it's in there, but we have it. So yeah, we have a lot of chest minecarts on a rail. Uh, I set up some rails in a zigzag pattern so you can see them go outwards. That room still needs to be worked on a bit. But yeah, a uh, little entrance door for maintenance. We have the door. You put a minecart, a chest minecart, or just one for yourself here. And you push the button, and away you go, and you go back to the, the Mushroom Island. And... Uh, we can switch it so we can come over here and we can flick this lever uh, up means the, the carts are going out and they go on their way outside and if we flick this lever down uh, that means carts coming in will stack up here but yeah it's very bad redstone <laughs> it just that lever just flicks this uh, rail left or right so they can go out or they can come back in this way so uh, what I've been doing <laughs> for the past few hours is loading up all the prismarine I have at the farm so far. So I got, I think I got four of each. Got four normal, four cobble, or three cobble. All the dark I have, and some seed lanterns here. So we'll chuck that in there, and that in there. Okay, and I've got two chest minecart, or two furnace minecarts. I think I need one. Uh oh. Also, <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I thought it was a good idea at the time. So say, uh, all the chests will line up under a hopper. So say I want to put something in here. I uh, just chuck the item in there and I can walk away. So it starts loading even though I can chuck it directly into the minecart. So yeah. It'll just it'll filter into there. I don't know why. Where's it gone? Did I only have four? I thought I had seven. Did it go into this mine? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, what a derpy episode. So what we're going to do now is... Uh, okay, so it's going outward. Yes, uh, we'll leave that open, and hopefully this works. Okay, so I'm going to get in this minecart. I'm going to coal it, and I'm going to get in here, and here we go. Oh no. <laughs> Please work. I don't know. Oh no. Are we moving? I don't know if I'm moving or not. Oh no. I don't think I'm moving. Uh oh. I think we might need two. Eh. Come on. Uh oh. Oh no. It's all going horribly wrong. I thought we would. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
Quickly. Quickly. Push. This is not going to plan. Why is this not going to plan? What if I get in here? This was, this, ah, oh, it seemed like such a good idea at the time. Eh, I'm just gonna send one off at a time. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Go. 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 Here we go. Get in. Uh oh. Where am I? Oh no, I'm I'm in a... Quickly, other way. There we go. Oh my goodness. They're, they're all gone. Quickly, go after them. <laughs> oh, it's such a derpy episode. Oh, Minecarts, everyone. Minecarts. So yeah, uh, we'll follow this back. And the intersection just before my house, beside the iron farm, has a lot of levers underneath. Don't go back, don't go back, don't go back. Oh, these furnace minecarts are horrible. As long as we don't unload the chests, we should be fine. Ah, uh, so yeah, we have an intersection. Oh no. Oh no. Please be good. Come on. Give me more coal. Here we go. Just, just come on. Please. <laughs> oh, what's my ping like? That's alright. It's just minecarts. Okay, so... <laughs> Before I get distracted again, uh, there's a little intersection. There's it goes off to the villager breeder, it goes to the iron storm, and it goes to my house. And there are a lot of levers underneath that little intersection, so I can change... Oh no, it's coming back. It changes the direction of the rails, and right now it's going so it goes straight into my house. So if all goes to plan, I'll cut back to you just before we're getting into the house, and we should be able to unload it into the storage room. Okay, cool. Oh god. Watch, in a few seconds, I bet you're going to end up in my house. <laughs> We're going 88 miles an hour. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. I ended up on this track. You are coming with me. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, minecarts are so broken. Dang it, so... Okay, so that didn't work. It sort of worked. Oh no, it's coming back. No. Good save. Good save. <laughs> so, what? Why are you over there? Oh, why did it go off the other? <sighs> it's all going horribly wrong. Yeah, get in there. Okay. So for some reason, this one changed tracks, and I don't like that. So we'll just we'll do a bit of easy DIY, and we will go like that. Huh. And we'll go like no. No! We'll go like that. 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 Okay. We got this. <laughs> Almost there. Yay! Stupid game. This is what I've been dealing with for the past few days, guys. <laughs> this is why I haven't got much done. Also, GTA 5. GTA 5 is not working for me. Why are you over there? Oh god. Guys, get out. Get on the track. You get on the track too. Yeah. Get out of the block. <laughs> Don't punch the chest. We're going to access it. Oh, good. Okay. So, success. We have all of the chests. I think. How did the Dark Prism... That was the last one to go, right? How did it overtake two of them? That is so confusing. I don't know why I haven't. So, uh, yeah. The track sort of works. Did I? I didn't put mushrooms up there. What the heck? It's like growing from outside the wall. It's hilarious. Oh god, Enderman. How did an Enderman get on the island? I'm so confused, guys. As you can see, I've lost my bearings. Okay, so anyway, uh, Grand Theft Auto V came out a few days ago from when I'm recording this. Uh, I can't run it. I can't play it. I've fixed everything I can. Uh, 
my drivers are up to date, my graphics card's fine, my internet's fine, the files are fine, it just doesn't want to open. And that's a bit annoying. When you wait months for this game, you never watch it on Xbox or PS3 because you don't want spoilers, and I can't watch Twitch or YouTube right now, because it's, that's the only thing that's on. Oh, what's this? Oh. <gasps> what a guy. <laughs> Mobot was asking for iron. <laughs> And so I gave him all the iron at the iron farm, and I chucked it at his base. So thanks, guy. That's really nice. Q. <laughs> I'll add it to my beacon collection. <laughs> okay, um, so yes, Grand Theft Auto V is not working as of this video. It might be working. I really want to do some videos on it. And I know some people say it's a bit risky. It's a Minecraft channel. People want the Minecraft. Uh, I'm not playing GTA V for, like, the driving and the killing and the missions and the the drugs and stuff. I like playing GTA 5 just racing around and roaming. It's a sandbox and... Whoa, what's wrong with you guy? Are you taking damage? Don't take damage guy. Um, yeah, I like as a sandbox roaming, just exploring, doing like fun tricks and see if we can do some stuff with some of the guys as well. Like some of the YouTube guys. It'll be really cool to do some collabs that way. If I can get the game running. <laughs> It's so annoying when you spend $90 New Zealand and it doesn't run. So I'll give it till the end of the week. If it's not fixed by then, I'm going to be really mad. But yes, um, I think we're going to go to the sub room now and we're going to do sub of the day. This episode has been really weird and I apologize, but I got a lot done. We didn't show much, but half a century, so half a century down episode 51. I don't know. I just had to get my bearings. We might start moving out next episode. Like, I find... Okay, this is my mentality, right? I found that since I built this house, right? And we still have to furnish this house. Uh, we've got all the stuff down below. But I don't like settling down. And I found for 49 episodes, we didn't settle down. We just worked on projects. And I feel like building this house was sort of a mistake even though it's really cool. Like, it's good as a mantle piece, or just like, like, hey, look, a cool house. But I don't like settling down in one place, because I'm going to get cozy here, and then we're going to stop being able to do more stuff. So what I think is we should move out and go abroad or do something else. Because if we stay here, I feel like we're going to be restricted. That's only my mentality. What do you guys think? You think we should stick around this place for a bit longer, or should we start a new project? I'm not too sure. Because uh, I've got a lot of ideas, but they don't really fit around this island. And this island's going to get crowded soon if we just keep doing little projects around here. But yes, um, good talk. <laughs> good talk. Okay, I'll meet you guys in the sub room, and we will do sub of the day. Alright guys, we're back in the sub room, and for episode 51, congrats to Zenali. Zenali? Zenali. Congrats, guy. You're the winner of episode 51. Looking back at the comments on episode 50, guys, you guys are awesome. They were so nice, so awesome. I appreciate every single one of those comments. Oh, just, you guys seem to enjoy 50 episodes, and this is the first of 50 more, hopefully. <laughs> so yes, um, something special I'm going to start doing now, from at least episode 51 to episode 100, if we get to there, uh, I'm going to be doing a shout-out of the day. I'm going to be showing you guys a channel and saying, go over there, See if you like it. If you like it, subscribe. Because I I don't know. I feel like getting all the, all of you guys watching. Like, I've had help along the way. And I would just like to give back to the channels that are about my size or a bit smaller. I'm not going to be like, go watch Etho or go watch Doc. Because they've, they've got a lot of subscribers. I'm talking about the guys with like a couple hundred to about a thousand subs. And yeah. I would just like to start giving back. And okay, this is the rule. If you've got a channel... <laughs> Don't be like, give me a shout out. <laughs> These are the channels I find when I'm watching YouTube and watching Minecraft and I enjoy. And if I enjoy it, I'm going to give them a shout out because they're obviously doing something right to make me enjoy their videos. So, uh, this, the channel of the day, there's the subscriber of the day and now there's a the channel of the day as well. Okay. <laughs> you following? <laughs> Good. So the channel of the day is Blizzard Penguins. He is a member of Primus and I love his modded stuff. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm not usually a modded guy, but just watching him do his modded stuff, it, it's just awesome. So, yes, if you like modded, or if you just if you, if you just want to laugh, I don't know what it is about Blizzard, but he, he's just really entertaining. 
So yes, uh, Blizzard's channel will be in the description below. Uh, I'm probably going to do a shout out for like all the Primus guys in time because <laughs> they will make great content. But I'm going to start with Blizzard because he's he's one of my favorite. <laughs> I wish I shouldn't pick favorites. <laughs> yeah, he's just really entertaining. So yes, um, next episode we'll do another channel shout out. But today is Blizzard Penguin. So uh, that'll be in the first line of the description probably. So go check him out. If you like what you see, sub to him. Say Schnicks sent you. And yes. Apart from that, I think it's going to do it for the day, guys. Like or dislike, depending if you hate or enjoy the video. Uh, leave a comment raging at me for talking for 30 minutes. I don't know how long this episode is. But yes, uh, I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed building the stuff I did, even though you did, guys didn't really see it. A week's worth of building for one episode. <laughs> worth it. Totally worth it. So yeah, uh, hope we get into more regular episodes. Hopefully GTA 5 will work. I can record some of that stuff, derping around with friends and just derping around in general. I reckon that'd be really cool. Uh, and yeah, I think that's going to do it. Uh, yes? Yeah? Okay. Uh, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye-bye.